out. Hello! Uh -huh. You just said we'd be kicked out of Althea if we fail! That's wrong! Listen, this quiz material has gone over plenty of times in class. So if we fail, you should get kicked out of teaching. A little more heads up would have been nice. I mean, the day before. Yeah. These uh, rules come from all the way up. There's, there's nothing I can do except urge you to review the lessons and get a good night's sleep. That's it. Wait, can you at least tell us what it's not going to be on? You just have to let me copy your notes, please. I would, except I didn't take any. So wait, none of us has been taking notes? This is horrible. We're all going to get kicked out. <sighs> what is that noise? <sighs> It's Bloom. Oh, gooey gumdrops. Not again. Bloom? Merry Christmas. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> What's so funny? Huh? Yo, at least we know Bloom's huh? been taken. <laughs> the bell rang 30 seconds ago. You should all be moving on to your fifth period class. Except for you, Bloom. Come with me. Uh. Professor Whiskers saw you sleeping in his class today. I know, I'm sorry. I really didn't get much sleep last night at all. Yes, well, I'm afraid that wouldn't explain your falling asleep yesterday and the day before that, now would it? I can't help it, really. Whenever I fall asleep, I hear this voice calling to me, someone named Daphne. It wakes me up, and then I can't get oh, back to the sleep. The old voice is in my head, excuse. I'm serious. We're not upset with you, Bloom. Go back to your room and try to get some rest. Okay. Don't you think some disciplinary action should be taken? We can't just... Hmm? I need to be left alone, Griselda. Hmm. Hmm. The last witch coven, Sparks, and now Daphne. It doesn't seem possible. Okay, I came across spell last night. Let's see if it works. Mist of Mayor Reek. Power unfurled. Transfer this pumpkin back into a girl. Mm, that smells more like Major Reek than Mayor Reek. Yeah, I don't think it's working. <laughs> well, you know, witch on witch spells are very difficult to break. Yeah, but this is Flo. Plants and vegetables and stuff are supposed to be her specialty. You try it, Miss. Let's just dump her in a patch. I will. Uh -huh. And that was... Planter. I think Kiko's about to eat Murta. What? Oh, don't worry, pumpkin or not. I think Murta can take care of herself. Uh, no. mm. Where did that thing Professor run Whiskers. Off to? I just had it a second ago. Mom was right. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached to my uh, neck. What are you looking for? Nothing, Bloom. Uh, wait a sec. Professor? Maybe it's hmm, uh, scrolls, letters, receipts. Oh, but there's that. Papers, wants. Oh, uh, forget it. Is this what you're looking for? Huh? Where'd he go? Hmm. hmm? No way. Okay, I'll say it. I think this is a golden opportunity, and I'm sure we can make it up with good deeds or something later, so I'm gonna open it. Not with my hands, just with my thoughts. Stella, don't! If Professor Whizgiz figures out you cheated, you could get thrown out of the school. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get thrown out anyway when I bomb the test. Yeah, but what about your conscience, Stella? Think about your conscience. My conscience just wants me to get a good grade. This is bunk, Bloom. You should have left huh? that thing where it was. Not only is it too tempting, we could get busted just for having it. Yeah, you're right, I know. So what do you think we should do with it? Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got it! What we'll do is, we'll only read the questions. That way it's not cheating! Oh, come on, Stella. How is reading the questions not cheating? What do you mean, how is it not cheating? Well, for one thing, it's an unfair advantage. Forget this, I'm hitting the books. Ugh, then the hay! It Ugh. looks like Bloom's beat you to it. She's fallen asleep for the fourth time today. Oh, poor thing. Bloom, Bloom, you're so close, Bloom. I am? What am I close to? To understanding. To the truth. Come, hurry. I'm trying. I really am. <sighs> You must Ooh. learn the truth. Bloom! Mm. Mm. Bloom! Ah! Oh. Hmm. Miss Farragonda would like to see you in her office. She said something about answers to questions. Okay. Uh, oh. This way. Uh, oh, golly.
Molly, what do you think she meant by that? You think she meant the envelope? Well, what else could she have meant, Flora? I... We are so busted. Miss Farragonda? Come in. You wanted to see me? I did. Please, have a seat, dear. Uh, so, what's up? I've just conferred with the Elders of Magics, and they're very concerned. The Elders? Miss Farragond, I didn't even open the envelope, I swear! What envelope? Uh, envelope? Did I say envelope? Are you feeling all right, Bloom? Oh, sure. I'm just, you know, tired. So, what were you saying, Elders? Well, it's... It's about this voice that's been calling to you at night. If the voice belongs to the Daphne of Dragonfire legend, then it's possible that you might be more than you think you are. Huh? I'm going to take you on an astral journey, Bloom. Here's what you must do. Close your eyes and open your heart and connect to your winks. Believe, and together we will travel there. Come with me, Bloom. Huh? Whoa! What is this place? the bottom of Lake Ephemera. Oh. We are here in spirit. Huh? Oh. It's not a place huh. one can actually come to. Let's go. According to legend, when the Kingdom of Sparks was destroyed, Daphne became the guardian of what remained of the mystical dragon fire. And she lives here? At the bottom of the lake? In a cave. This cave. Go on, Bloom. Don't be afraid. Be swift, though. My spell won't last much longer. Welcome, Bloom. It's her! I'm so glad you made it, Bloom. I have so much to show you. Huh? Uh... Where are you? I'm all around you, Bloom. I'm within huh? you, Bloom. What do you mean by that? I'll show you. Whoa! Daphne! What is that? It came from the palace in the Kingdom of Sparks. Huh? It belongs to you, Bloom. Bloom, my magic is fading. A crown? The Ember Tiara. The dragon fire has not stopped burning, Bloom. Huh? It burns deep within... Wait! Deep within where? Oh, I'm huh? sorry, Bloom. I want to go back! Oh, I'm afraid I don't have enough magic to go back at the moment, Bloom. That brief journey took everything I had. But I need to know more! We've learned what we can for now. I'm afraid the rest of the answers will have to come from you, Bloom. But I'm sure that if you keep studying, searching, and believing, you will find all the answers you need. Huh? What are you talking about? Did you get the boot? How did they know you had the envelope? You didn't rat on all of us, did you? Because we didn't do anything. They know that, right? <laughs> don't worry, you guys. They don't know about the envelope. Is that so? Then why'd they call you into the office? It had nothing to do with the envelope. It was, uh, about my sleeping in class. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So what should we do about the envelope now? Everyone start studying, because we're not going to open it. Let's just forget that it exists. <sighs> I can't stop thinking about the envelope. I can't focus. I've got so much running through my head. Oh, it would be wrong to open it. But if I fail the quiz and get kicked out, I'll never discover the truth about my past. This could be a good excuse to call Brandon, ask him for advice. Although, I called him once yesterday and left a message and he still hasn't called me back. I can't be that girl who calls twice, can I? Oh, why not? I really do need advice. You really this, Brandon? They're gonna have to scrape you off the wall with a squeegee when I'm done with you. Whatever, witch boy. What's that supposed to mean? Ever since you started going out with Darcy, you've been acting like a real jerk. Let's just do this. So, why haven't I seen Bloom around, Brandon? Huh? 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 I don't want to talk about Blue. It's none of your business. <laughs> Not who you thought she was, is she? That's enough. Just bring it on. <laughs> what 
What are you lads doing? Class ended an hour ago, and there's no fighting outside fight class. But since you like spending so much time together, the two of you can spend all night together cleaning the armory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, this is Brandon. I'm training to be a hero, so I can't answer my phone. Well, that's great. Now he's going to see I called twice, and I still can't focus on studying. And I'm probably going to fail tomorrow. This is the worst day ever. What we're about to do is going to take a lot of willpower. Hey, we're with you, Bloom. But when are you going to clue us in as to what we're going to be? There's a danger sign on that door! Oh, dear. That sign means kitchen. Oh. <laughs> uh, so what are we doing here, Bloom? Okay, girls. We're getting rid of the envelope. We're gonna hide it. But, but... We have to earn our powers. If we can't pass a simple test, we weren't meant to be fairies. Bloom's absolutely correct. Let's get going. All righty. So everybody agrees, okay? Hmm. Hey, you guys, something just occurred to me. If we all hide hmm. it, won't we all know where it is? Yeah, you're right. So that means only one of us can hide it. Everyone else has to wait outside in the hall. Yes, but the one person hiding it would know where it is. Why don't we, like, draw straws or something? Mm, forget all that. I say we just let Bloom hide it. Well, why does Bloom get to hide it? Because I've decided that no matter what happens, I won't look. I hmm. pinky swear promise you guys. What if you can't help yourself? So that's what the nastiness in my breakfast omelet was. Why isn't anybody else questioning Bloom on this? Flora, you know you can trust me. I'll put it somewhere secret, and no matter what happens tomorrow, we'll know we did the right thing. Oh, Flora's just upset because she wants to be our resident goody-goody, right, Flora? Hmm. Take it! I'm too weak! in here. Here, little envelope. a midnight snack. <laughs> I was just making sure none of you were looking. <laughs> yeah, same here. I'll just tuck it in right here next to my bed. And if anyone really wants to cheat... It's not that I want to cheat. I just don't want to repeat this year again. Ah, uh, who knows? Maybe third time will be the charm. <sighs> Very funny. Good night, all. Night, you guys. In the morning, let's all meet outside so we can face the music together. Night, Flora. Bloom, if you really didn't get called into the office about the envelope, what is it? Ah. Let's get to bed, Flora. We've only got two hours before doomsday. I can't do it! I can't go in there! I'm too scared! I, I can't breathe! I'm like having a panic attack! I'm gonna shame my entire realm. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. You've got the best grades out of all of us. Yeah, I know, but these pop quizzes give me performance anxiety. 
Come on, you guys. We're all smart and we should all pass. And who knows? Maybe the test will be really easy. <sighs> Class started five minutes ago. I think we should be getting in there. You go first, Tecna. Why did you stop? Goodness, what happened in here? Yeah, seriously. You guys conjure a mud beast in your last class? <laughs> <laughs> well, look at you girls. Very interesting. Very telling. What are you talking about? about? <laughs> this might be my most successful exercise yet. Oh, Professor Whiskers, what's going Calm on? Calm down, Ms. Amaril. I'll explain everything. Uh -huh. But first, let's talk about... Say, Professor, we uh, found this envelope yesterday, and we think it maybe belongs to you. Let's see. What have you got there? Ah, uh, yes, this is mine. Let's open it and check out what's inside, why don't we? Ah. Uh -huh. A little jumpy today, aren't we, ladies? Oh, I bet I know why. It must be all those frayed nerves from staying up late and studying. Why is everybody behaving so strange? All right, then. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> that one didn't have mud in it. Oh. oh. Very well. Now that we finished our quiz, we can move on to today's first lesson. Wait. Finished what quiz? The pop quiz. To open the tempting envelope or not. Though it was more a lesson than a quiz, huh? in class we talk a lot about outer transformation. What we don't talk about is the way you can transform on the inside. Like, say you're the type of person who could never cheat, but you find the answers to a test and you can't resist. Suddenly you've transformed into a cheater. I gotta say, I am really happy with the five of you girls. Thanks, little Wizzy. We're happy with you, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. The path ahead is going to be filled with many obstacles, young ladies. But it's important to remember who you are and stay true to that, no matter what. You can't let challenges from the outside transform who you are on the inside. If you do, you might lose yourself entirely along the way. We've got all the ingredients, I see. All but one. What, the Craven Feather? It should be here any minute. Awesome timing. Timing is everything. The feather must be freshly shed. Now be dirty. Don't touch the feather. Your magic into it. <laughs> if this works, those Winx Club girls are never gonna want to sleep again. Going. Don't worry. Our new pet comes pre-trained. He knows just what to do and who to do it to. Zolo? This guy is a monster! 
Or will Morgan execute his deadly plan? Now prepare to face the firing squad. Come aboard an all-new episode of One Piece and find out later this morning.